In today's video, I'm going to show you the lesson that comes after the introduction to the Montessori checkerboard. And this um, activity would be done alongside the checkerboard. I'm not going to show both of those in this video because um, it does take up quite a bit of room. Um, you could also modify this lesson and just um, do the visual representation of multiplication, which I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, so we'll be doing this problem. 432 times 3, and the first step would be to have the children or child form that with the beads on the checkerboard, and next we would show the visual representation on the paper, and this is even a slightly more abstract. Okay, so first we have the multiplier, which is 3, so on our grid paper, we're going to go up, count up three, one, two, three. And the first um, number in our multiplicand is two. So we're going to go over two, one, two. And let's label this three and this two. And I'm going to close this up. And we have six squares here. So let's write six in the center. And this is dealing in units or the ones place. So I'm going to shade this in green just to keep that in mind, our, our place value. Okay. So next we're going to go to the tens. And we have three um, as our multiplier and um, three tens. So this is already here. We're going to go across one, two, three. And we'll label that with a three. So <clears throat> three times three is nine. And because that's actually nine tens, we're going to color that in with our blue, which represents the tens place. Okay, and of course this can be done with larger or smaller grid paper. I got this grid paper for free on waterproofpaper.com. No sponsorship there. Um, I just liked that they had a variety of um, free printable grid paper. Okay, and next again our multiplier is still three and our <clears throat> the next digit in our multiplicand is four. So this time we're going over four. One, two, three, four, and up three. I'm going to close that. <clears throat> Label this four. So four times three, that equals 12. And that 12 is in the hundreds place. So we're going to color that in with our red, because that again represents the hundreds place in the Montessori um, math system. Okay, so we'll get that shaded in nicely. <clears throat> and the next step is to do an analysis of what we have here. Okay, in order to find the product, because this is another way of showing a partial product. So I have this grid paper, and I'm going to write out what each of these represents based on the place value color. So I have six ones or six units. So in the ones place, I'm actually going to skip down to here. I'm going to put six. And I have nine that's blue. So that represents tens. So I have nine in the tens place or 90 and I need my zero here. Okay. Now 12, um, this is in the hundreds place, <clears throat> but I can't put a 12 here. And so I put my one here, my two here, and my zeros as a placeholder. Now that might be a little confusing to some students if they see that, oh wait, but this is in the hundreds place. Why is there, um, why is the one over here in the thousands place? If they're confused by that, then you'll want to take out the um, golden beads or the base 10 blocks again, just to remind them that anytime we get to 
10 of any one unit, we have to then exchange it for the next hierarchy up. Okay, so this is actually 1,200 um, or 12 hundreds. Okay, so now that we have our partial products written out and analyzed, we're going to add them together. So we have six ones, nine tens, two hundreds, and one thousand. Okay, and let's see how this looks on with the standard algorithm. Three times two, that's six. Three times three, that's nine. Three times four, that's twelve. And there's nothing else, so we put that there. Okay.